Hello and welcome to Top 10 Mods for Fabric. The first menu I want to look at is called Fancy Menu. So you may have just seen there it said pre-rendering animation and what it's doing is it's pre-rendering this animation in the background. And this is a cool thing that you can do with this mod is that you can actually change the background image of the main menu and you can do a lot of stuff. So you'll notice that you've got two buttons here, Customization and Reload at the top. Customization, if it's off, it will go back to the default and you won't be able to actually access any of these. If it's on, you'll have your, your custom. And you can put a picture in here. I just chose to do an animation. You can find a few different things. So for instance, if we're in press menu info, we can see various different menu, which menu we're actually in. So you can see we're in netmicrocloud class 526. Here we're in 442. Also look at button info. So that will show you the IDs of all the different buttons. We can also go to this, which is create layout. So this is how I was able to put in, if you right click on the screen here, you can see we've got background options. And this is what I've, I've set it to background options and you can do animation lightning strike. Uh, you can also, if you put in multiple animations into this folder and set up the folder, you'll be able to actually randomize it as well. You also can choose to do an image or you can also do a panorama as well. So that's probably like the key feature. We go press here, we can see add. We've got add image, web image, animation text, web text button, and audio. Say we wanted to hide the language and accessibility buttons. We could right click here, press hide button, and press hide button. And then you, we'd be able to see them in this hidden menu here. So for instance, you could also put different audio sounds on the different buttons. You could also change the texture so you could replace all the buttons with different pictures, things like that. So say we just wanted to leave it simply like that. All we do is save. And we can do that and then close. And now you can see the the language and accessibility buttons have disappeared. All right, so now I want to talk about a mod called Full Belly Sheep. So th what this mod does is pretty simple. All it does is sheep that have got wool are not going to eat any grass. But once we sh shear the wool, they're now going to eat grass. And the other thing we can do is we can actually directly feed the grass to the sheep and it will grow back the wall. We've got a mod called Minecraft Coordinates GPS. So you press the Y key, you get this menu. Okay, so let's just do planes. Confirm. New file. File forest. Confirm. Open file. our forest Let's put some coordinates in just to show you like a, an example of what this might look like so we can then access new TP to selected and it will show us all the information so this is actually pretty convenient right it gives us an entire file structure of various different coordinates and obviously you can put your Obviously, you can put various bases, fortresses, all that stuff. Okay, now we've got a mod called Plantable Flower Pots. Okay, you can see when you put the plant in the dandelion in the flower pot, it is a seedling. You can actually grow it. So this is actually pretty cool because it introduces growth stages to flowers. Then you can press shears, and you can see we've still got that seedling in there. So you can take essentially cuttings. Of vanilla flowers. There's poppy. Okay, so yeah, so pretty awesome that. Now I've got a mod called Ada Paxels. I don't know if that's after Ada Lovelace, maybe. And it's a Paxel, so crack stone bricks, can strip the bark off trees, create paths. as you might imagine, do basically everything with it, with the exception of, it's actually not bad, even as a sword. Okay, we've got a mod called Auto Fish. Let's open the config menu. You can see there's a bunch of different config options that we can, we can change. Enable Auto Fish, enable Multi Rod, so it will cycle through them all as they break. 
and you could stop using one with low durability if it's got mending on it or something or it's got some really super duper enchantment okay so i've turned auto fish on i've taken my hand completely off the keyboard and it's just recasting the line and yeah it will just it will just do this forever and obviously you can change that recast delay so now we've got a mod called xp storage you can see we can get 30 40 to 69 levels so let's um let's see what how we're going to do this so if i wanted to i could just right click and it's going to store the xp experience in here and you can see these are just upgradable okay so i give myself 50 levels you can see it's now about half four so one thing you can do that's pretty awesome about this is you can actually make custom experience bottles. So if I take a mundane potion, so let's just have a look how much that is. We've got zero at the moment. So you can see that one seems to be different. Experience stored in it, one, two, five. Okay. So you can see this can give me about eight levels just by one experience bottle. So you can see I can very easily toggle between the two states. So I just right click, it goes in the book, shift right click, goes into my inventory. Let's place Riptide onto a trident. We've got this netherite trident. And obviously with Riptide we can't use it. But let's see what happens if we go into this cauldron with water in it. You can see now it becomes active. Okay, what about this one? This one's called Mob Rebirth. This is pretty cool. You may have noticed in recent versions of Minecraft, we've got something called attributes. So for instance, like bee flying, horse jump height. And the one I'm looking at here is going to be the zombie spawn reinforcements attribute. So let's just do some settings to see what we can do. We're going to do 100% multi-mob chance, uh, 100%. And we're going to do 10. And we'll, we'll put this on all here. Okay. So now what we can do is when we kill a zombie, we should see it get reborn, and we also get the reinforcements to come as well. So that'll be cool, right? So let's have a look at that. There you go. So that's pretty awesome, right? And it works with everything. This mod called Phonos, it's like a music mod. So you're gonna find this structure. So you can see we've got some loudspeakers here. And you'll also find, which is the technician villager. So what we can do is we can trade. So let's get some items. We get the Faunus guidebook. And we can get some of these redstone chips. So we'll just get that for now. We're gonna get a channel tuner. Okay, we'll just, we'll just get some more stuff. And we can see we can put various different discs inside the radio jukebox. Let's see what happens if we press play now. <laughs> So we have to, let's just first of all make this a bit longer. So this one should control the pitch. Let's just try that. Our speed. Okay. So the radio note block's pretty cool. It actually has a number on the top. Let's take the layout speakers. So we're going to set these to channel two. Let's set this to channel two as well. Let's press play. Oh, that's cool, right? But yeah, it does all. I have got that is auto play. This button here. Okay, so with the channel tuner, we can change it to. We shift right click, change it to channel two. So you can see. And then we can just right click on any on any amount of jukeboxes. So you can also, for instance, let's just uh you also got the tiny potato speaker. There you go. And the final mod we're going to look at is this mod called Netherite Plus. You've probably already seen a few items from it already. It essentially adds just Netherite items. So we've got Netherite Shield, for example. Here's a Netherite Beacon. You can see we've got Tertiary Plow of Glowing. 
So this creates a lava vision effect. You can also fish with the netherite fishing rod. You get ancient debris, gold, that sort of thing. Netherite elytra as well, which is with uh, trinkets, of course. And these other items are just not going to burn or they'll just have high durabilities. Netherite anvil, for example, will never break. So, until next time, thanks for watching.